Yo guys, what is up? CMS Pro Vlogs here, back with another video. <clears throat> Today we're going to be talking about which console is better to end the console wars. PS5 or Xbox Series X. Let's get into this. Let's get this video done. And let's get the debate. Let's get this debate done and over with. Here we go. Alright guys, let's get into the facts of PlayStation 5 versus Xbox Series X. Now this is my opinion, do not come at me for my own opinion. I wrote these down last night. I spent a lot of hard work on them. So, let's start with the Xbox X. The Xbox X looks like a mini fridge. Uh, let's just say that. It looks like a mini fridge. And some people complained to Microsoft that the top of it overheated and then started smoking. So, Microsoft did not report that to, like, worldwide. Some people had it, some people didn't. So, maybe that person who got that console just had, like, a faulty wired one. And then, it started being slow when people got it and played games. And just, like, a lot of people were complaining that it was slow... It was overheating a lot. Like, if you play your game for, like, a minute, it would already be overheating. And people could not play their Xbox because it say overheating, overheating, overheating. So, basically, the Xbox X was overheating. Now, let's get to the PS5. When people started playing the new Spider-Man game, game crashed. Game crashed. Wasn't saving their game data. Everyone had to start all over, so like if you're on a higher level, you'd have to start all the way from the beginning and get back to your original level. A lot of people got mad. A lot of people didn't like that. And like I said before, it wasn't saving, saving game data. Um, when you play the Spider-Man game or any game, it crash. It wouldn't save the game data, and it'd take you back to the PS5 homepage. So a lot of people were upset about that, and the PS5 looks like a Wi-Fi router, so... Are we going to see some new consoles coming up in the next few years? We don't know. Let's see if the internet... <clears throat> I'm on my iPad. Let's see if the internet has... Let's see if the internet has an image of what the PS6 is going to look like. Okay, so there's basically nothing that PS6 is supposed to be like digital or whatever. It's supposed to look like the PS5 basically. I meant the PS4, sorry. That's what I'm seeing here. But we don't know what's going to happen if we're going to get a new PS PlayStation or if we're going to get a new Xbox. But the PlayStation and Xbox do look like a mini fridge and Wi-Fi router. So to the people who got new consoles, enjoy them. I'm sticking with my PS4. I'm not going to upgrade. Maybe in the future I'll upgrade just to like see how it is. But there's more stuff about the PlayStation Xbox. Let's get into the resolution. Alright guys, so. For the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, you're of course going to need a higher resolution TV to get the good graphics. So, if you play on a Xbox X, you're going to need like a 8K to 4K resolution TV. And if you play on a PlayStation 5, you're going to need a 4K TV or higher, which runs at 120 FPS. Now, these consoles are pretty expensive. So, the... Um, they are costing between 400 to 500 dollars 
but PlayStation 5 is $400 plus taxes, so you're looking between probably like $500. And then for the Xbox X, it's going to be the same price as the PS5. But if you don't want like a disk drive in them, like if you don't want, so like say, so if you don't want a disk drive in your PlayStation or um, Xbox, that's going to cost you less money. So if you don't want the disk drive and you just want to get all your games digital, you're probably about to, you're going to save about like a hundred bucks, 200 maybe, because it's going to cost you like 400 plus taxes. And then for the Xbox X, it's going to cost you $400, $500, $500 plus taxes, but the PlayStation 5 supports like 3D audio, it's like pretty good. What am I saying in this video? Alright guys, let's talk about the resolution. You're probably going to need about 4K, maybe 8K TV for these new consoles to run, and the increasing popular one is 4K, which is 120 hertz. But if you want farther and better standards, you can get like an 8K TV, which supports 1080p hertz or HD. So this is the Xbox Series X. I get my facts online. So this is the Xbox Series X. Someone posted on TikTok that. Hold on, I'm trying to hold this. This part right here started smoking. I don't know if you guys can see that. This part started smoking, overheating. People were calling Microsoft. They're like, why is my new console doing this? I need my money back. I spent so much on this. Like, they were freaking out. It's a new console. What? What do you want them to do? Also, they shouldn't have rushed so quickly on this new console. They should have took their time, tested it some more, see if there was any overheating problems. A lot of people have some problems with these consoles. But, yeah. Also, Sony's allowing there not to be a headset for right here. So you can press the, the button down here underneath the Sony. So, where's my controller? So, like, under here... There's a button where you can talk without a mic, but for this PlayStation 5, you need a jack. So, that's why I have my gaming headphones that you guys saw me unbox in a video a couple of days, a couple of months back. So, this is my gaming headset. I'll use this to talk to my friends. My friends invite me to games. I'll play games, late night games with this. This comes in handy. This has really good, um good audio I'm gonna do a review on this so yeah and it's falling apart <laughs> we'll be right back all right back to talking about the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X so the Xbox Series X now has like three buttons on the bottom like little buttons it have two but you also got a button to take out the disc right, let me show you. you got a button to take out the disc and basically with these new consoles you can play your xbox 360 games your xbox your old xbox 360 like when the first xbox 360 came out you can play that you can get your xbox 360 connect games to play on that you can play like any games on these con on this xbox series x same with the playstation 5 you can play a playstation 1 playstation 2 playstation 3 and playstation 4 on these games because these games are going to support it that's why the resolution is so high and the hertz is too so on these new consoles you can play the old games i think you can too on the playstation 4 i don't really know i just got my playstation for like two years ago so it's pretty good still um it's a good good playstation i do major dubs with that thing but yeah with these games, with these new consoles, you can play all your old games. So, if there's an old game you play on the Xbox 360, you'd be like, damn, I missed that game. And I missed my Xbox 360. But all of a sudden, the Xbox X, Series X, allows you to play these games, and boom, all your memories flow back. 
that's why these new consoles are good, but they're pretty, pretty expensive. I know the stores I go to, like Walmart, Target, they don't carry it. They they don't. A lot of people already went to them and say, do you have the Xbox X? Do you have the PlayStation 5? They don't have it. You have to go online, order, and have it sent to your house. I guess because a lot of people went there and wanted to buy it, so... Yeah. But rumor has it, guys, that they have it in the back. That's a secret. Don't tell anybody I told you that, but... They have the PlayStation 5 and Xbox X. 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 X in the back. So, yeah. Uh, that's going to be wrapping up today's video of which console is good. I really don't care. I just want to put my blatant point that both consoles are, are different. You can have, it doesn't matter what console you get. Just stop the console wars. Because everybody's saying Xbox is better, PlayStation's better. Well, PlayStation is good. You get free monthly games. And you get to have a subscription for free when you first get your PlayStation. I got mine for free. I already got another one for three months, which should be good to, for me till May. But all the free games I can get on that, and instead of spending a expensive Xbox Live, Xbox Gold card to get those games, I'd rather go with the... PlayStation where it's going to offer me free games every month. So, yeah. Make sure to subscribe down below. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And next week, or is it this week coming, are we going to film a vlog or a video? Uh, weather app. We're supposed to have some good weather this week, guys. I'm probably going to take down my fall lights. <laughs> Rip. Oh, shoot. It's cold out today. So, next week's supposed to be nice. Um, we're going to take down our fall lights on Tuesday. It's supposed to be a high of 54. We're going to let some breeze come in. We're going to clean up our windows because my windows need to be cleaned. I cleaned them last year when I put my windows up, my lights up. But it's time to take the window, the lights down. So, stay tuned for that video coming next week. And I'll see you guys next time. <sighs> Don't start a console wars in my comments.